You know, I've, I've spent a lot of time in, on the other side of the camera, and uh, it was finally discovered that I, I actually have a face for radio. Radio is a, a first love of mine, and getting to do a, an audio drama, like a, a radio play, is, uh, you know, something that just, you know, I... I love from from childhood I love um, the old time radio dramas I listened to them when I was a kid and you don't find that anymore I think it's a lost art I've always loved voiceover I, I always have it's not easy but it's 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 very freeing this is amazing I really love this I'm, I mean I'm busy I'm a busy person I have a lot going on I, I don't know if I'll be able to do it and they say well you'll be playing Scrooge in a Christmas Carol and I say let me just take down the exact information of where I'm supposed to go Christmas a humbug uncle you don't mean that I'm sure I do every idiot who goes about with a Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled in his own pudding. Oh God, one day I'd love to do that. I'd love to do a radio play. And I did it tonight. It was fantastic. Ask me who I was. Well, who were you then? In life, I was your partner, Jacob Marley. Jacob Marley, uh, the tortured soul, which is uh, kind of typecasting for me, I, I think, uh, you know. <laughs> What's interesting about uh, Marley is he really actually comes in to save Ebenezer Scrooge from the same fate. You know, walking the earth and, and seeing humanity in terrible, dire straits and not being able to do anything. That's why he moans and cries and he's such a, a tortured character I, I just uh, you know I, I, I loved uh, playing him you know it's hard to say no when nice people like the people at macabre mansion call you and they say do you want to you know do you want to be part of this event and we're, we're doing raising money for charity I think it's really great what they're doing and that that's the real important part that you know we, we mustn't forget and the charity is called Thursday's Child I like Christmas Carol because it's it's one of the only Christmas stories I know that has ghosts and scary stuff. Oh, I had a I had a blast. Um, we did uh, Christmas Carol and the Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Or as everybody knows, that the the Headless Horseman or the story of Ichabod Crane, which for me as a kid was the scariest story that I can remember. I'm. I'm not kidding. Sleepy Hollow uh, has been one of my favorites for years and years. I've also narrated that. Uh, it was like reading a whole book, which I haven't done since the fourth grade. So this has been a, a heck of an experience all around, because quite frankly, uh, the nuns thought I was illiterate. So hopefully they're watching now to see this. It was so much fun, such great talent in that room. I mean, really, really fun. The opportunity to do a whole bunch of voices all at once is a challenge, but uh, it's also pretty fulfilling just because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's something that uh, I really enjoy doing. We got to play off each other's performance and have everyone in the room, which you can, uh, there, there's a lot, it's a, it's, it's a bigger vibe, more, more chemistry, more energy, and you can just really, really feel it. It's just awesome to, to get to do that. Aside from the great cast, there's our terrific director, my friend Kevin Heron, who uh, is, is very gracious uh, and a good director, and you know he he is uh, got his ear always open to make sure we do everything right. These guys are just like super super talented. I've looked up to them as as actors and performers in the industry, and love love working with them. It was kind of like a reunion, uh, and so it's been fun. It's been a heck of a great experience, and I, I really can't wait to do it again.